Debugging user-defined function blocks. UDFB is like an instruction template. You can create objects with a unique name from the template. For each object, you can have different variable values. This video will show you how to debug a UDFB in structured text, letter diagram, and function block diagram. Download a sample of the UDFB project into the controller. In this video, we use the project that is created in the Create and Use UDFB video. The yellow background shows that CCW is connected to the controller and you can monitor your program. You can begin debugging the code. Debugging in structured text. Double click Calculate Reserve Tank. To view the value of the variable, move your cursor to the red block at the bottom right corner of the variable. A monitor button appears. Click to bring up the variable monitoring window. You can adjust the values of variables and observe the result of the cylinder volume UDFB. You can view the variables within this UDFB by clicking the plus symbol. Expanding the UDFB allows you to view the variable values. For this UDFB, pi is 3.14, debugging in ladder diagram. Open the ladder program Calculate Supply Tank. Enter values for the supply tank height and supply tank diameter for the UDFB inputs to calculate volume. To obtain a more accurate calculation, you can update pi in this UDFB. This pi variable differs from the pi variable in the structured text program. When pi is updated, it only affects the UDFB in this program. Debugging in function block diagram. Double click Calculate Storage Tank. You can double click the UDFB to monitor the UDFB code. This applies to all languages. Click the monitoring icon to bring up the variable monitoring window. This window allows you to update the input parameters to the UDFB. You can update pi in this UDFB. In this video, you have used and learned how to debug a UDFB in structured text, letter diagram, and function block diagram.